Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we've done it. The credit game has shut down, at least temporarily, hopefully for good, they've shut down. The FTC has been investigating them for a little while. Uh, they've gotten all their evidence together. And in fact, we have that evidence. A uh, big shout out to the Credit Crusader. I'll link his video at the end of this one. He's actually the one that found it with the FTC. It's a public document. I'm gonna be showing you a few things on that document in just a moment. I'm gonna put the entire document in my Patreon, but we are gonna go over a few key points. I do wanna give a shout out to just everyone that has watched the videos concerning Mike Rando and the credit game, liked those videos to help uh, put them out even more. Everyone that has done videos and especially all the people that have actually took the time to report Mike Rando and the credit game to the FTC. Because when enough people start reporting a business, that's when the government starts to notice. And if that business is doing really fraudulent things and stealing from people, eventually they're gonna take action and that's what happened. So let's jump over to the computer. We'll take a look at the documents and a few key points and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, so I just wanted to point out a couple of things. I already recorded the video, but the Credit Crusader told me to look at the comments because it's absolutely hilarious. Now keep in mind this raid by the FTC has already happened. Mike Rando is aware that they are looking at his comment section because that was part of the complaint, as you'll see in a moment. This person says, I don't have access to my page anymore. How come? It's giving my access denied message. And that was left 22 hours ago. Seven hours ago, Rando said, the software Kajabi is down right now. It should be up shortly. And then three hours ago to someone else, he said, the site Kajabi is down. It's a software, I think it's a software problem. Stay tuned, we're trying to get it back up and running. Uh, this person right here says, okay, so I can't access my account. Then when I try to call the numbers, they don't work. And Rando said, all good. We are out of the office till Monday. Kajabi software has been down all day. So clearly you're gonna see that this is not true at all. He is still lying his ass off to consumers right now. This isn't a software issue. This is the FTC that has raided your building. And it just kills me how stupid this guy is because again, he's aware that the FTC reads his comments and he's coming in here and still lying to consumers. Anyway, let's get on with the rest of the video. Okay, so here we are on the FTC complaint. This is FTC versus Michael Rando, Valerie Rando, and then it lists the different companies like Prosperity Training, Elite Customer Services, uh, Digital Business Scaling, First Coast Matchmakers, Resource Management Investments, Financial Consulting Management LLC, and then the other DBAs, Wholesale Trade Lines and such. Now, this right here is a 64-page document, so we are not going to go through this whole thing. We're not even going to go through most of this. I'm just going to show you a few key points and then we'll conclude the video. I will put this entire document into my Patreon though. So at the start of the document, it says plaintiff, the Federal Trade Commission, and it alleges the complaints under the various laws listed here. And it lists the laws that authorizes the FTC to seek and the court to order temporary, preliminary, and permanent injunctive relief and asset freeze the appointment of a receiver, immediate access to the defendant's business premises and documents, and accounting of assets, monetary relief, and other relief for the defendant, acts or practices in violation of it gives the different statute. So the summary of the case says, since at least 2019, defendants have operated an unlawful credit repair business that has deceived consumers across the country. Through YouTube videos, websites, email marketing, and telemarketing, defendants claim they can quickly and legally improve consumers' credit scores to over 780, remove most or all negative items on a consumer's credit report, and cause a third-party credit history to appear on the consumer's credit report. Defendants strengthen these representations with a money-back guarantee. Goes on to say defendants' claims, however, are false or unsubstantiated. Defendants have also filed or caused to be filed fake identity theft reports on the FTC's identity theft gov website as part of their credit repair scheme. Let's just stop right there for a second. You do not want to piss off the FTC. So when Mike Rando and his goons go to the FTC website and file fake identity theft complaint, that is just bonehead stupid. You are pissing off the agency that can shut you down. And in fact, they are shutting you down. In addition, defendants routinely take prohibited advanced fees of hundreds or even thousands of dollars for their credit repair services and do not make the required disclosures regarding their services. So they go on to talk about the claims that are false or unsubstantiated. They talk about the COVID-19 relief laws. It says defendants claim to have generated more than $15 million in revenue 
from their unlawful credit repair and education and business or investment opportunity practices. So it talks about the different addresses for prosperity training technology, uh, Jacksonville, Florida addresses. You can look on screen if you want here. Elite Customer Services, LLC. And it goes through the different businesses and their addresses. I'm just kind of scrolling through right now so you can see that if you want. Resource Management Investments. I mean, there's some companies even I didn't know about. Uh, although I haven't been looking into Rando and the credit game in some time now. Okay, this is Rich. Defendants acquired trade lines from a prior FTC defendant. Another bonehead stupid move. In December of 2019, defendants purchased a cardholder database of 220 cardholders controlling 524 credit accounts who are willing for a fee to add unrelated authorized users to their accounts from William Airy, CEO of Boost My Score LLC, in BMS Incorporated. The Randos, through First Coast Incorporated, purchased the cardholder database for $152,500. Okay, so it goes on to talk about this, but they literally purchased from a previous defendant on an FTC claim. Uh, they talk about the refund policy, and I did a video on this actually, showing the refund policy over time and how it changed by using uh, the Wayback Machine and just looking at the changes. So they talk about that a little bit. Now, look at this. This is important here because Remember I showed you the comments just a little while ago about how he's still on the comments lying to consumers? Well, they posted this right in the document here, and it shows that they are looking at his comments. They're looking at his videos and the comments and the replies that he leaves. So they're looking at this stuff, and he's still out there right now while he's under investigation by the FTC, uh, leaving these deceptive comments for consumers. Okay, so there's a lot of things I just passed over, probably some important things too. But there is just so much to this document. There's so many different claims that it would take probably a few videos just to cover all the claims here. So let's conclude this video. Okay, guys. So there you have it. Uh, this is absolutely amazing news. I really didn't think this would happen, at least not like this. I thought it would be maybe in stages where they would get fined a few times and they would probably start doing things legitimately for a little while, then uh, go back to their sorted ways and then eventually maybe get shut down years and years down the line after tons of damage. Now they've already done tons of damage, but I thought it would take a lot more before they were just shut down. But I really, really think that this is because of all of you that reported them to the FTC, promoted videos like the ones I did, especially the ones that uh, the Credit Crusader did, because I did a few, but the Credit Crusader was on their butts from the beginning. He knew that people were getting scammed. He took a lot of his own personal time, time that was invested into talking to people that got scammed by the business, talking to employees and ex-employees and this and that, talking to me to give me the lowdown on this business so I knew where to go with my videos. And like I said, there are other channels. I'm not too familiar with those other channels, but if you are out there, if you're watching this, kudos to you as well because everyone played a part. Okay, so I am going to stay on top of all this. If there's anything new, I will certainly bring that to your attention. I wish you all a fantastic day and just remember to verify everything.